Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to my Earthbound Let's Play. Now, right now, I just skipped ahead because you pretty much saw everything that was there in my previous parts, and there are no more enemies to fight, so I just skipped ahead, and we're back in, um, Threed. And as soon as you walk out, the town is back to normal, and you can, um, talk to some of these people, and they'll tell you how thankful they are of your heroic attempt and succeed, success of restoring the town, town back to normal. See that circus test, that circus tent is still there for some reason. Uh, huh, apparently you can get a photograph here, that's pretty cool. Pictures taken in instantaneously, I'm a photo graphic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, now get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Save. Fuzzy pickles! I wonder how come Ness is the only one who faces toward the screen while doing that peace sign. Paul and Jeff just stand there. I guess they don't feel like striking a pose. Okay, um... Okay, I need to go to the hospital. Because I'm actually going to do a side quest that I don't think a lot of people know about. I'm not sure on that, but... At least I don't... I, I don't... I don't know. I bet some people know about it, but... If you check in this drawer right here, there's an insignificant item in the drawer. Now what we got to do is we got to take it back to, um... We gotta take the item back to Tucson, and if we give this item to a guy, it'll give us a useful item. Let's see, uh... Just kinda walking up the road. We gotta go to a bus stop. And wait there. Be sure you go on the top one, the top of the road instead of the bottom. I thought I was on the sidewalk. Um, okay. Okay, let's check the bus schedule. <laughs> and it looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. So, you just wait a couple seconds and the bus to Tucson will appear. Now if you just go towards this, the driver should be there. Finally, the bus can make its full run to Tucson. It's going to cost Six dollars for the lot of you. That's not too bad. See, that's two dollars each, so that's not that's not bad. It's playing some groovy music right now. some spare time, I guess I'll get it real quick. I don't think you can read the side of the... above the windows that, um... the text that's on there, but I think it says Gray Hand Bus. Or something like that. I don't really know. Okay, now, I gotta check the map because I don't know where anything is. Okay, now we gotta go to the hospital. killed it, so... Don't worry about it. Okay, I, I think the hospital should be right here. Alright. Okay, go to the second floor. Go to this door, I think. Yeah. If you talk to this guy, he's... He says he's in perfect tip-top health now. He just wish he could have some more vid visitors. And what you do is... Okay. 
when you use the item just by itself, this is what it'll show you. By using the insignif insignificant present, you had a very fruitful experience that cannot be understood by someone who does not use something insignificant. Yeah. It's really weird. Probably the weirdest item in the game. Now if you give it to him, he'll say thank you, you made me so happy. After my life, this is the second most important thing to me. Because you're so kind, I want to give you this magic truffle. It's a souvenir from Scarabia. Which is actually where we're going to go next. It's like in between, um... It's in between 3 and, uh, 4 side. It's a desert. Which you should have seen a glimpse of when, um... Which you, should, which you should have seen a glimpse of when you were uh, riding in that spaceship when you were controlling Jeff. Now first, before we go to Foresight, we're going to get that present that, that's down there. I don't know if you can tell, but aren't Ness's cheeks, like, um, blushing, or they have, like, some kind of color to them? I wonder what that's supposed to mean. I guess it means he's a, I don't know. I think they put it on that, um, young, like, cartoonized characters, you know, to show how, like, full of life they are. And, uh, Jeff has them, too, I think. I, I think they're on Paula, also. I don't know, I'm just looking for things to talk to. Or looking for things to talk about. I don't want to talk to things. Well, I kind of am right now. Technically, I'm talking to myself, but... Let's, let's not go there. Okay, I'm on the sidewalk this time, so... Next bus will be here pretty soon. There's the driver. And pay six dollars. And then we hop aboard and cruise on to Foresight. I don't think that skip sandwich is gonna come in handy, but it might. I really don't know. Oh, by the way, in Tucson, there's actually this house that has this kid in it who gives out hints for $50 each. They, he basically tells you where to go next, which you don't even need at all. It's kind of a waste of $50, but it's there. I mean, I only recall of one other game that has that, um... I meant to say no on that. Just look at that one again. Like I said, the only game that I know that's also in where you can buy uh, hints for money is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Which that actually might be a game that I could uh, walk through in the future because I actually know a lot about that game. As for this game, I really don't know what to expect. Like, an hour from now. Game-wise, I mean. Like, where I'm gonna be and what I'm gonna be doing. Man, my tongue kinda hurts. I burned it while I was, um, eating something really hot. Yes, it is a free country. Let's see, what's this guy have to say? Heh, <laughs> world's longest track jam. Wow, poor guy. He was gonna visit his girlfriend. Huh. He can't 
know much. Let's see what you have. What you have to say. <laughs> Has to go to the bathroom. That's classic. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here, and I'll see you guys later.